Good morning, everybody. It is awesome to see you guys. I am so excited to be with you today. My name is Eileen and I'm with Jane Nicole Designs. And today we're going to finish um, my Easter tablescape. So um, once uh, I have a few people copping on here, I will hang out um, for just a second and I will let you know where we're going today. I have it out here on my, my um, trivet. And uh, today we're just gonna finish up. We are going to actually end up doing our name, um, our name place uh, settings. So uh, I got this idea. That a lot of stuff was going around on um, YouTube. And good morning, Jeff. It's so good to see you're watching. Um, the the cool thing is is that um, you know when you get ideas and things like that you can um, you know kind of spin off of what you're working on at this the same time so um, we are going to be uh, doing it this uh, concept on wood but I've seen a lot of eggs and things like that and um, you know people are starting to um, put uh, like finials on them and different 3D elements and whatnot and um, you know what, I used up all my eggs in, in the last uh, live, so I actually have to go run to the thrift store um, in the next day or so and pick up a few more so that I can keep going on my um, my journey of all, all the eggs and stuff like that. But um, I wanted to do this concept on wood and um, I started off and then I thought, you know what, I, I'm always so prepared. And I thought today I'm gonna not be as prepared um, and we're gonna kind of play things by ear um, and just kind of go with it. So I have an idea in my mind of what we're gonna be doing, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily gonna end up in that fashion. So um, anyway, we'll see how that goes. But as you're hopping on, let me know uh, where you're watching from. If you are gonna be watching this uh, live, send me some hearts that you um, are watching. And um, on the replay, go ahead, um, if it's not live, put hashtag replay and then that lets me know um, when you are watching and when you are watching so I love to be able to um, go back and see what's going on and oh good morning Yabby it's good to see you're watching um, so it's good to see who and when and um, and even if my timing is right so I think that's a great um, just a little thing to fun to play on and, and um, you know be in a conversation and whatnot, even if it's not live. So um, anyway, let's get started. So today we are going to be using a few different mediums that I have not used before um, on live. So I kind of want to, I'm going to do a little bit of playing with uh, some of the supplies and whatnot, and I will let you know, um, you know, what and when um, well, we're going to be doing that. So these are, I just got, uh, went to the dollar store or actually, yeah, it's Dollar Tree, I think it is. And I just picked up, these are th uh, four of these wooden um, eggs and they're pretty rough. They're not necessarily, you know, pristine, but I like that idea because it is a little rustic-y. So I'm gonna take off the tag. I think um, later on, if um, I do so, I may uh, paint the back of it but I'm not sure yet. I just want to kind of, I'm just going to do it for time's sake as well, just to paint the front of them. Um, I'm not going to sand it because I don't want big grooves in my, um, or, you know, I just want to keep it as rustic as possible. So, um, we'll do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have, um, a couple different there's a couple different ways that you can do this. If you want to, you can um, prime it or you can just um, paint it just white chalk paint. And I think for what's going on today, this I primed and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how this works uh, and then we'll, then we'll go from here. So um, this just has regular just primer on it. Good morning, Amy. It's good to see you're watching. Um, and today I'm going to use white. This is uh, Waverly. It is chalk paint. It's usually a one coat kind of thing, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and I just got this at, um, I believe I got it at Walmart. So the first, um, the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to try the one that I, I primed first. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead, this is my kind of like, this is my go-to brush. I got it at Walmart and I love it because it's not super, you know, fine. It's got the the um, rogue kind of uh, bristles that are going everywhere. And so it kind of gives a little bit of texture when, when I keep painting here. So this is what's going on. It, it's actually, it's going pretty good as far as that goes. Um, it's covering over the primer quite well. So I, I do like that idea and it, it's going to dry, um, chalky. So it's not going to be too shiny. So, hmm. Let me know. Should I just go with the, the paint? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to I think I'm just gonna put the chalk paint on each one of them. The cool thing is I love, it. this is my favorite trivet. I got it at Big Lots for like $7 or something like that. And I love it. So it, it's got a almost like a coating on it, plastic coating, and I can wash it off and I can scrape things and if I have all that kind of stuff. So anyway, this is a little bit if you can see it, because the primer's not there, it's a little bit more natural looking. I may have to do two coats of the paint on this, but I'm okay with that. I think I think it will give it a little bit of like a, almost like, you know how they, the undertone is a little bit brown and that's kind of the boho look right now, the farmhouse boho, I think that's what it's called, where it's got you know, the bright white from farmhouse, um, the natural wood texture is kind of boho, bohemian feathers, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and that's pretty popular right now. Okay, so we'll put that, turn that around. And like I said, this Waverly paint, it's sometimes it can just be a one and done. And I love that about this this paint. I, I um, wasn't really sure about the, the chalk paint kind of thing. And I'm not, I wasn't a huge chalk painter until this year. So I, I'm kind of slow on the times, but I, I, I caught up, I think. So let me know, what's your favorite chalk paint? Do you guys, um, do you use Waverly? I know there's Folk Art. There's, um, you know, the Michaels has a couple different brands that are more of an in-house brand. Oh, there we go. Let's make sure. I'm trying to get in those little crevices. Like I said, this wood is really jagged and porous. Let's see. It sounds like my dog, there's somebody around my house. And my my daughter Emma has had taught him to be a guard dog and alert people or alert us when people are around. So he's doing his job, it looks like. Okay, let's move this around. And so these I'm going to, I, I don't know how many people are coming for um, Easter, but um, even if it's just the three of us, I thought, you know what, I'll make the extra one. And I could, if I want to, um, you know, give it away or we can invite somebody over. So we'll see how that goes. Let me know what you guys are, are doing for Easter. Are you guys, um, are you cooking at home? Are you going away? Are you, um, are you hosting? Are you doing more of the mosting and going somewhere else? Which is all always nice to be able to do that. Okay. So I'm just gonna do the fronts of this. I Like I said um, earlier, I could um, later on if I want to. Um, I could paint the back as well because when you're looking at a tablescape, it's kind of a two-sided project. But I'm just gonna, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is one coat. And let me get my my handy dandy baby wipes. Make sure, I like to make sure that my, um, my uh, 
my hands are clean at all times. I usually make sure that um, the, uh, the project doesn't get whatever I'm painting on. Okay, so I am going to actually just shoot this with my heat, my heat tool. I don't know if any of you guys have this. Um, I usually use my, um, my hair dryer, but my hair dryer is so noisy. <laughs> So I am actually going to see how this works. It's a little bit um, quieter and it's uh, quite warm air. So we'll see how this goes. I think. But you do want to make sure that it's, um, that it is dry. You want to, you don't want to put a second layer of chalk paint on, um, on wet chalk paint. It doesn't work very well. So, all right, as you're hopping on, let me know where you're watching from. Tell me what your weather are is. Are you guys getting um, getting the spring fever? Are you? Uh, thankfully, we're getting. I think it's like 50 degrees around here. So at least during the day. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being patient on that noisy thing. But all right, so we are going to go ahead. I'm going to start again. And we are, this one, I'm not going to go every tiny nook and cranny. I'm just going to go on the front here. Kind of give it a little bit of a brighter white in the middle of it. There we go. See, we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on there. Oh, Renee, you got pouring down rain, yikes. Um, I have sprinkles. There's a little bit of sprinkles going on. And I, I just hope that it doesn't snow again. I'm, I'm done with snow. <laughs> I, I don't want snow anymore. And I'm hoping that by doing Easter stuff that it brings on the spring, so. We'll see how that, how, how well that goes. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just going over the top of it. And there we go. All right, there, there is a method to my madness. I'm gonna make sure that this kind of just, um, this kind of just dries a little bit on its own and then I will shoot it with the, the, um, the heat tool if I need to. But this is what I wanted to show you. I've done this one time before and um, I really enjoyed it. And these are just little silicone molds. And um, right now it's really popular to do, um, you know, all these embellishments of sparklies and things like that. And um, to be honest, I'm more of a frugal person. And so having, you know, buying all that, um, I would rather make it myself with things that I have in a little bit um, cheaper fashion. So this is what I did. This is a crown and I took my glue gun and um, you do need to keep um, extra glue sticks on hand, but you just take your, your glue gun and this glue gun I got at, um, let's see, I got this one at uh, Walmart. And all I'm going to do is just pump, let's see, I won't fill it up all the way, but I'm just pumping the, the hot glue in that mold. And then I'm gonna allow it to get cooled and then um, set up. And I'm gonna use these for my embellishments. 
There we go. Make sure that you do get in the little corners. And I do um, make sure that it looks like it's, there we go. So now it is just full. And it is a little bit warm, so just make sure, keep your, your fingers out of the way. Good morning, Joy, it's good to see you're watching. Um, and I'm just gonna let that sit. So this is what it looks like when it's done. And um, sometimes if you fill it up too much, there's little pieces on the side here. You can just take a scissors and just go ahead and trim it all around. Um, this is the other one that I did. This is a finial and some swirlies and things like that. And I did that um, ahead of time because I wanted to make sure that um, things were set up. And then go ahead and just take your scissors and you can go around if it, if it um, has little pieces that are hanging off. Um, I think it looks super fun, you know, super fun to do that. So um, there's a little bit of, like here, this one, it has a little bit of um, strings that are off on the side. So go ahead and just take those off. There we go. See how that goes. I am so excited. Oh, Monique, it's good to see you're watching. Thank you for hanging out with me this morning. I'm having a, I, I, I look forward to Wednesday mornings. It is one of those. It brings me so much joy that we can hang out, do a little crafting, make a few mistakes, but have a good time. <laughs> All right, so that's what it looks like. And if I wanted to, I could spend a whole lot more time, but I think sometimes some of those little imperfections are what crafting is all about. So I'm just making sure that each, each little piece has, um, you know, no big, huge uh, strings off the side. Let's see here. See how that goes? And you know, I would love, um, go ahead if you have any of these, these are, you know, cake molds or fondant molds. Um, you can use your clay for Fimo clay. Um, I would love to see if you did sparkly ones. I do not have sparkly glue, so I probably should get some, right? <laughs> but this is how, how it goes. Now, this is another one that's cool. This is a border and that's what it looks like. And all I did was fill it up right there, then pull it out and it's ready. So I have a couple of these hanging out here. So I um, wanna make sure that when I put these on, um, you know me, I'm one of those where you always start from the bottom up, right? And, or the foundation up and um, making sure that each layer that you put on top of each other so that um, your project is successful in the end, that each of the layers are put on where the foundation is there and you wanna make sure that what that is is solid so that, um, so that you don't have to worry about any um, embarrassing you know, fallouts or things that don't, don't work, whatnot. Um, it looks like this one here is the last one. It's a little bit, um, the little part right here is pretty rough. So I think there's a lot of more paint on it than every, all the other parts. So let me just shoot this and get it really dry. I wanna make sure that this paint is dry before um, I glue on the finials because if not, the finials won't stick. So you wanna make sure that your project that you have, um, you know, for time's sake, I'm not, um, I'm not gonna wait, but I would wait an hour or so in between just to make sure that it is completely dry. get a little opaque in the chalkiness and that's what I want. My tablescape is going to be um, kind of the farmhouse boho rustic-y. There we go. I just want to make sure that they're all super dry and that I'm not worrying about white and things like that getting on my hands. Okay. 
All right, thank you. Thank you for waiting there. Okay, let me get my cords out of the way. Otherwise I might have a fall out here. There we go. I do have a big power strip right next to me. And sometimes I just, I don't want to overload my power, my power source. Um, unfortunately my house, the, um, the wattage in this room, I have, um, you know, quite a bit of wattage going out on there and I need to uh, upgrade on that. Um, but for right now, I'm just super cautious of what's on in my, in my craft room. But I've been using back there as my heat press when I press t-shirts for my Jane Nicole designs. Um, I've blown the, the circuitry on here. So I have electrician or my husband's in the kind of like that world and he has an electrician buddy that's like, okay, Eileen, we need to re revamp your, your, um, uh, your, uh, outlets and things like that. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. So here's my, um, glue molds and I am going to kind of just design as I'm going here. I don't know. What do you think? Do you, should I do, um, more of the, uh, the finials? Should I put in some of the, um, some of the, uh, borders? Is that too big? Should I go a little bit more conservative on the, uh, or should I just do a little bit of everything? Let me know what, what your, uh, what your suggestion would be. I'm not sure. These are kind of, hmm. Let me know um, in the comments. Go ahead and tell me, should I do finials? Should I do borders? Should I do it all? Hmm. I mean, that's super cute like that, putting the, the uh, finials there. I think that would be, hmm. What do you guys think? I think so. Okay. All right. So these are so easy to hang out with. Um, all you need to do is just take a scissors. So I'm going to go ahead and... Just go down the side of this one. And I'm gonna kinda make sure, there we go. Gonna make sure that each of these designs are, um, it, it's okay to put it off the, the, I think going off the, um, there we go. Uh, going off the egg is kinda fun. And the cool thing about this is if I wanted to, I can start cutting these apart. I don't have to. I don't have to be be um, so bound to the the original design. And that's what I love about this. Is you can kind of do your own thing. Okay. I think this swirly would be really pretty right there. Like that? What do you think? Uh, I think this one, I like, yeah. Yep. I know I could be totally, totally indecisive here today, but I think, okay, so that one there, I want to make sure that when I, I'm going to be standing this up, I want to make sure that, um, you know, you're able to stand up the, the bottom of the egg. So I don't want to go too far down on that one. I think this one here, I'm going to, I'm going to play it super simple. And I am going to go ahead and just put the finial and I'm going to put that, that crown right on the top. What do you guys think? Is it good? Yep. Yeah. All right, go for it. Okay. A little bit of everything. Great. Sounds good, Renee. Okay, all you need to do is just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the, the um, finial here. Make sure that where it goes is where you want it to be when you put it down. See how that goes? We wanna make sure that, you know, and it this glue, because it is glue and it's warm, it will um, do a little bit of shrinking, or I would say melting down to the the project. So I'm going to do that. I actually am going to move that. I think it would be cute to have the crown go a little bit off the, the top. All 
All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of glue on that. Make sure it lines up. I'm gonna put this one on first because this is kind of my biggest piece and I want this one to, to dictate where everything else is going to go. There we go. Perfect. This one here, I don't know if I like this. I think I might put this on here. Well, we'll try, oh, there we go. I'm gonna trim this one a little bit differently. There we go. There we go, I think that looks great. Okay, are you ready? So let me know. I think this would be a really fun Victorian project that you can use these finials if you get um, the these little Florida lease kind of things. Um, if you have any type of uh, flowers, I do have roses. Um, I just decided not to use them on this project, but there we go. So that's what it looks like. And I actually, I'm going to do the other ones because I want, I'm going to do them all at once because I have a couple different ways that we're going to be, should I go opposite? I think I should keep them the same, right? Okay, so let's go back. This is the one that we just filled up. And this is how it pops out. Super easy. And now that it's cooled down a little bit, there's a little bit of, of, um, of, uh, Overflow, so I'm just going to trim that off. And there we go. It's ready. Isn't that so cool? I love it. All right. We'll put this down there. And I'm going to kind of do almost the same as the other one. I will just change up, change up some of the colors. Let's make sure that it's around about the same. There we go. Let's put these over here. And let's get our finial on there. There we go. See how it's just a little bit off. I'm going to just put it a little bit off the side there so that it, the top of it peeks out. There we go. And then for the last one, I think I'm going to go a little bit more traditional. And I'm going to trim off the bead here so it's nice and round. Put one there. And let's do this side. We'll trim this one off. And this one here, well, let's make sure. I don't want to. There we go. Uh, let's go this way. I think this one looks better. I want to make sure that um, when I put these on, if I need to, I can trim, move them around. Yep. And that's the one cool part about this. If you had, I don't know if you've seen, they have the um, the glue guns that are the little melting pot. And, and if you didn't, you know, or you have little pieces and whatnot, you can just throw this back in your little melting pot and then you can reuse and go over again. So that's the cool thing. I My glue gun, we have a relationship. So I don't know if I'll, um, I know it's really fun to, to see the, the new inventions of all the different craft projects, but I think for right now, I'm kind of stuck on the, the glue gun. Okay. So that's, we're going to stick that one there and then let's scoot this one over. I'm just, I think I'm just going to leave it just like that because it's a little bit more traditional. These are pretty Florida lease having fun. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know what's going on. Oh, it looks like, yep, pouring down rain. I get it. I get it. <laughs> it looks like the pouring down rain got it for, for the, uh, the watchers here. And the fun thing is, um, Last time we had snow, so it's kind of nice to hear that that you're able to get around and things like that. I am the biggest uh, chicken as far as driving in snow, so when it snows, I'm home. 
you can count on that one unless my husband wants to bring me around and Jeffrey always brings me everywhere when I when I'm it, when it's snowing and I need to to go and get stuff so all right so that's what that one looks like make sure that it's on there good okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of super much you know fun kind of thing um, this right here is Waverly and this is pink and what I'm gonna do is kind of almost like I'm gonna almost like dry brush and um, I know it's weird you said white but I'm actually just gonna just do the top layer just like I double um, put the two coats of white on there I want to make sure I'm gonna kind of this is kind of getting low this is ballet slippers I don't need a whole lot of this so I'm just gonna use my brush and I'm gonna tap it off a little bit I don't want it super see how I did that I just I want to just a little bit so in this right here this is just a can top I'm one of those I like to to see how uh, how I can use reuse things Okay, so now I'm just gonna take it and this, we'll see how this goes. This is in my mind. So we're gonna kinda just go ahead and get a little bit out on the sides, go right up to the top of it. We're just gonna kinda make it a little, see how the, the um, there's holes in there, but we're gonna go around each one of them. Just kinda tap your brush around and we're going to go on the side of it, kind of make the shabby chic boho farmhouse. I think I've got a little bit of everything in there. Okay, so now if I wanted to, and I think I'm going to do that for this one, so I'm just going to go around the edge and just kind of make it a little distressed. Oh, I love this. I think this is going beautifully. So let me know. Would, are you going to go and... See if what you can find, like I said, you can go to the dollar store, get the, um, get the, the, um, eggs. And then, um, like I said, these are the glue. Super easy. I found, actually, I found my, my, my glue, um, these molds, I found them at the Goodwill. So it was like 99 cents or something like that. So. I thought that was awesome. I was like, whew, I was looking for them. I saw them kind of demonstrated online. And I was like, whew, I think I'll see if I can do that. And sure enough, I found them. I was so excited. And I know tomorrow, my day is super exciting. I am going with a friend down into Spokane, Washington. Um, and we are going to go to the Goodwill. I have not been to... Um, that goodwill since before Christmas and I have been eagerly waiting to um, have the weather get better so I can go down and see what is there so I may if I get the okay I may go live from there tomorrow so keep on the horizon that I may be showing up okay I may be showing up live I have not done that before and I know you have to get permission too. So um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do, this is just a little stipple brush. It's pretty, it's pretty um, stiff. And I'm going to use, this is celery. So go ahead and make sure that um, this one here, shell, celery you do have to shake up because I don't know why, out of all of the ones, this one always ends up um, looking a little bit uh, worse for wear but so go ahead just put a little bit on your brush and this one here I'm just gonna go on the top and then I'll go from side to side so I want to make sure that I get the top first go on each side just like that and then I'm gonna take it and put it right in the corner there and I'm just gonna pull down Just like that then same thing pull from the top and just a little little brush strokes there you go all right let's do the same let's do 
it in there and see if this works. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, let's see. Yep, there it is. Okay, go ahead and this is a little bit more generous to so I can uh, make sure that the um, the glue is all all over painted. There we go. I know I have a little spot there. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and just push down. And we'll see how it looks. That's the one thing about these. It's like, hmm, we'll see what happens. I could always paint this completely green and see how it goes. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. I just like the, the white peeking through. I think it looks really kind of just rusticy and, and it gives it a little bit more character. All right, let's get a little bit more green on. And if you can see in the back there, um, that is the garland that I made a couple weeks ago. And I'm using the same color scheme because um, when Easter comes, I'll be putting that up in my kitchen. So there we go. That's what it looks like. And I know it kind of looks a little odd, but guess what? We're going to do a couple different layers of different things. So coming up is the new thing I have not shown you guys yet. Okay, so this one here. This one's a little bit more in, in depth and I want to, I'm going to do this one here. This is, oh, let me see. I think this is, yeah, cashew. This is cashew. And like I, said, I got these all at Walmart. The cool thing is, is some of the, the, these, I recommend that, you know, getting the smaller ones. If you, you're like, mm, I'm not really sure if I really love this color or not. Um, I recommend getting the smaller ones. And then if you so inclined, like, the ballet slippers, I love this color. I will, when this is done, I will go and get the big one, just like this size here. Um, and some of them, like I said, they're not all that same size. So um, it's really nice to be able to get the, the little ones first and then kind of try it out, do the test run. And then um, then you can be able to, to get the larger one. Okay, so this one here, let me see. Yep, that's dry on the top. I'm going to just take this. Want... This is a little bit smaller brush, and I want to just kind of go over the whole top. Get in the little nooks and crannies. And it looks like this little piece right here, I'm going to re-glue it. Because I don't think I got it in the first place. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's the cool thing about those. You can just kind of, as you go. So I, like I said, I could see this happening with Victorian things. Um, if you want to, if you have hearts and things like that, um, the dollar store has a lot of little wood pieces. I could see if you put little wood pieces and done the same technique. I don't see why not. Let's put a little bit more. And the cool thing about this, you can, if you like, these are just colors. Um, I actually also paint, um, the paint that I have, the chalk paint, I take and um, tint it with all other colors. Like this one here, this is uh, Making Memories, and this is a scrapbook paint. Um, and that's how I got, I think you can see it up there. I'm pointing right there. There's that little... Um, chickadee, it's painted with that. Um, and I took white chalk paint and I put a little bit of that um, that that uh, yellow paint, mixed it around, and then um, used it that way. So that's one good thing about these paints. I love that you can be able to tint them if you want to. I don't know, I've never put glitter in them, but I think that would be an awesome idea. Let me know if you guys have done that. Have you ever put glitter in it? I don't know. Okay, so now I've gotten, these are, got the little thinning yells going. Now I'm just gonna start doing a little bit of dry brush kind of, there's not a whole lot of paint on my brush. And I'm just gonna make it a little bit, just kind of fun. I'm just gonna make it a little bit messy. 
and I think this is turning out way better than I thought, so I'm so glad. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know. Is this one of those where you're like, hey, I'll do it, or hmm, not really sure how it goes? I think it's always fun to be able to, to get your feedback. Let me know. Give me a little heart that you're that you're like, yep, that works, or, or a, a uh, well, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint on the edges. And it's at your discretion what you'd like to do. Do make sure that you get the pieces of, um, the pieces of the, the glue. Um, if, unless you wanna see the, the, the clear on the, um, on the pieces of uh, hot glue. But I kind of like, I like the finials all, all painted. Okay. So there we go. Isn't that fun? Okay. We still got more to go. Good morning, Christine. It's good to see that you're watching. Okay. So now here we go. We've got um, pink and the finials pretty well dry. Now. If I, you know me, I'm a McDonald's person. I love, not that I love the food, I love the, that their philosophy is super fast and let's get it done quickly. So um, that's what I want in this project. So I'm going to shoot the um, the projects with my, my heat tool, but I don't want it to be too hot and, cause I don't want these to melt because um, you know, hot glue gun does melt under, under temperature, so. I'm just gonna keep it moving really fast. And I'm gonna touch it a lot because I wanna make sure that it's not gonna take the, the glue from the um, finial there. And I just wanna make sure that it's just dry. I probably wouldn't recommend, um, you know, sending this in summer heat or leaving them out in the sun or anything like that. That might not be if you're in hot heat weather. But where I'm from, this is perfect. Okay, a little bit more here. There's a little bit right here. We need to make sure that that dries. Okay. All right. So we are ready for the surprise. So how this is going to work, I have two different minions here. This is Waverly Clear, uh, Clear Wax, and this one is Waverly, this is Antique Wax. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna seal the project in clear first, and then we're going to go and put the antique on it, and I will show you how it goes. Let me get a, I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna use a paper towel. And so all you would like to do is just take a little bit on your paper towel. You can use an old, you know, shop rag or whatever, but I'm just going to rub it all over. And like I said, you can't see it. It's clear. I'm going to get in the spots where I don't, I don't want too much on there, but what I'm doing is I'm actually, oh, hello. Come here. Come here. This is Dusty. He's big. He's 135 pounds or 30 pounds, something like that. And he, <laughs> he is a big family member. There we go. Sometimes he just has to come and say hi, just to make sure that we're okay. All right, so go ahead, take a little bit more. You don't have to put a ton on, but do you see how it's just gonna do a little bit of a sheen on there? 
and it will dry. If I wanted to, I could just leave this just like this. I could totally leave it just like this. And that seals in the chalk paint um, and makes sure that um, that the, the um, chalk paint will stay. And if it gets any nicks or anything like that, if you're gonna be you know, picking it up or using it in any way, that clear will just um, seal in that, that chalk paint. So I'm gonna go in between the crevices and things. Like oh, something fell. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna go in between the crevices and make sure that that is okay. And there we go, that's, that's it. Okay, the last one. go okay now here comes the fun part we are gonna take after this is all on here let's do a little bit more up on the top I want to make sure that it does what I want it to do okay so it's ready now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dark wax and we are going to put that over and because we put the clear wax on it'll help it so it doesn't stick too much um, and it'll kind of give us a little bit more of a um, an antique look so let me take this i'm just going to take off the paint that's on here do that really quick i think i ran out of brushes so i need to i need to clean something okay so I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my brush. Here we go, and I'm gonna take it, put it off on the side here. I don't want it too much. Okay, so just like that, dab off on the side, and then here we go. So I'm just gonna take it, move. See how it looks kinda, this, this kinda looks ugly. <laughs> but, but, watch what happens. See how it's going to start to roll off on the side. And I want to just keep wiping it so that it looks just weathered a little bit. I just want it to go. And the cool thing is, is that, um, see how it goes? The cool thing is, is that clear wax will not uh, make it super dark. There we go. There we go. So see how it's looking a little weathered? And it's up to you how much you wanna use. and how much you want it to put go into the crevices. See that there? I'm just gonna make, make it almost look rusticky, dirty, weathered. I don't know how to call it. What, what's your word? Let me know what your word would be. Some people are like, oh, I don't know about this. But um, I, not I don't necessarily want it super crispy white and that's the cool part and like the clear here if you wanted to um, you can make it darker and that will help okay so you see that look the difference and it just kind of gives it that little extra weathered rusticky look I know how you, it's like, okay, I'm gonna take something brand new and make it look old. That's kind of what it's it's designed to be. So we're gonna do the same thing. See how we're just gonna take a little bit on there, go in there, and then I'll go in the crevices here. And then let's go on the sides a little bit.
And then let's start making it look just rusticy. And like I said, you can do however dark or light that you want. And then I can put some play around with it and see how much I want to put on here. Just like that. There we go. So how many, let me know in the, in the comments, how many of you guys have ever used this wax, the antique wax? Is it something that you're like, oh, I'll run down to the store and get it today? <laughs> or is it something where, hmm, I'm not sure. That's the cool part about um, crafting. You get to, you kind of get to do your own thing. But I'd rather show you some new fun techniques. There we go. And oh, I, I see some commenting. What's going on for Easter? Are you, oh, or this is the other thing. Are you a St. Patrick's Day celebrate? Celebrate celebration person? Um, in a few weeks, I always get my um, cabbage and my um, the corn, um, corn beef, but I don't usually decorate. So are you a St. Patty's Day decorator? Yeah, also, the other thing too is I'm gonna, yep, this is a great way too. These are baby wipes. And if you want it less, less is best kind of thing, this will help give you texture on the, and not leave as much. So see how that is? I love it. Tell me, is it is it a go or a, a yay or nay? <laughs> there we go. All right, my last one, and I'm not done yet. We still got more to go on this. That's the cool part. The layering process, I love it. Gives us a little bit of time to do, uh, just make it our own. So see, if I, I could even just leave it like that, I think that's a little too dark for me. But um, if you wanted to, you could leave it just like that. Just depends on what type of a project you're doing and what you want the finished look to be. I'm going to try it with the baby wipe and see how it just kind of takes off the, the really vibrant parts. I could say it's up to you what you want to do. Okay, so that's it. I could keep going, but for time's sake, I will um, I will refrain, right? So now that we took something new and now we're making it look old, my last um, part on it. I want it to do some sparkle or some shine. And um, my favorite thing to do that is liquid leaf. And go ahead, you do have to shake this up. It is a little smelly, um, but I love it. And I will endure that. Um, it is one of those super hard to get open. So last time I did that, I couldn't get it open. So I'm using my can opener. And let's see if I can get it open. Oh, I might be able to. I have super, super, um, nope, is it gonna come open? Um, I have super uh, weak hands, so I may have to do rub and buff instead of struggling to get it open. Oh, for time's sake, we're gonna do rub and buff. Okay, I had it on hand just in case. So let me know how you guys, I, I might, you know what? I think
think when I finally get this open, I'm going to put it in something that I don't have to struggle to get this open because it, what happens is, is when the, the paint, cause it is, you know, it's super, uh, uh, fine paint and, um, it goes on the corners here and then it sits there and then it, um, dries and then you're like, I can't get it open. So let me know. But this right here, this is rub and buff. And you can get it in several different colors. I have it in black, antique kind of, and um, this one is gold. So how you use this, I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel, and this is gonna be kind of my little palette here. I'm gonna take it and just where I want some gold on there. I don't need to put a whole lot because of the dark color with the, um, the wax, I'm just gonna make it just little, little touches here and there. You can see it, it's little shiny. And I think that will bring a beautiful, another layer to our project. This here dries pretty quick, so I do need to work a little fast on this one. But see how you just take little, little pieces and wherever you want it to end up. I can see this, you know, you could go on the inside, you can stay on the crevices here, on the outside, but wherever you think that that, that gold is that you want to want to have it sparkle. Okay, let's do let's do this one. I think this one's gonna be fun. So this one here, I'm gonna drag it across the top, right across the top, almost like the sun is glowing down on it. See how that, I love it. I think it's so fun. Ooh, March 17th, corn wheat, yes, absolutely joy. I might have to, um, I might have to do a decoration. I don't know, maybe next week I'll do a decoration of a, the St. Patrick's Day. I have a couple things in mind, but I'm just kind of like, mm, I don't know, I've been kind of on the uh, the Easter kick, trying to finish my tablescape and make sure that it's ready to go. But I know I have a long time, I get it. <laughs> All right, so right where the, right where the, um, the paint is, I'm kind of just putting that gold on there. There we go. This one, I can't wait to see what this one looks like. This one here, because of the, the cashew color, I think it'll look more Victorian. There we go. And the cool thing about Rub and Buff is it, it does, it dries really quick. And so it, it's more of just kind of a, a little added touch here and there. And then see, you just go ahead and put a little bit wherever you think that you would like to see light reflect, reflecting because the, the gold has the sparkle in it and it just catches the light really, really well. Okay, I'm gonna go in the inside. There we go. Doesn't that look cool? I am so excited. I cannot wait to finish these off. I will definitely post a picture of when my tablescape is nearing completion. I think, I think I'm almost done with, with uh, what I wanna put on the table. So it has been long in coming. I, you know how you get those ideas in your head and you're like, oh, I wish I could, you know, it comes to fruition quicker than it does, but. I think the process is fun. There we go. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the top there. Just be careful, you don't wanna to put too much, but just enough to make it, make it sparkle. Okay, one more. I, You know, it's kinda of one of those, I just wanna, 
put a little bit here and there. There we go, just so it looks like it's kissed with gold. Okay. Oh, and I see one more spot that I want to put it on. There we go. <laughs> Boy, my puppy dog is having a good time being really noisy today, so I'm sorry for the big clunks and the, the, um, but he is one of those. He, it's playtime. Usually 10 o'clock is playtime and about 11.30 it's, it's um, time for bed <laughs> or at least a nap. Okay, so this is where we're at. Now, to be able to, um, these are name places. So I want to make sure that I have a, a way to put the name um, on each of these. And I want to go ahead and um, make it so that I can use these over and over again. So what I decided to do is I got at the Goodwill, like, five or six years ago, I got this copper wire. And so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make a little swirly from each one. And all I'm gonna do is just take a piece of it and I will have it pretty much the same size. And I'm gonna cut four of them. And this is pretty, pretty hefty wire. I've had it, you know, for a long time and I've used quite a bit of it. But I think it just brings another beautiful element to the gold, the gold rub and buff. Okay. There we go. All right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, the end of it and I'm going to start swirling. And then I'm going to take, this is just a, a needle nose, and I'm going to just keep rolling it so that I can put in there the little card. There we go. So that's what I'm going to do. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be whatever. I don't mind. I like, I like to have people know that I've made my projects instead of, oh, did you get it at the store? No, nope. it's, it's done by me. There we go. And I'm just going to roll it, roll it on itself. There we go. There's another one. Take it and just at the end twirl it. I want I want that end to kind of tuck in because the um, the copper is uh, the end is sharp. So I want to make sure that that it's okay and doesn't hurt my guests if they want to touch the the name. But I would say this is probably like maybe 30, 40 gauge wire. It's pretty, it's pretty sturdy there. So let's take this one, bend it in a little bit, one more after this. So that's what I'm doing. I have one more piece, here it is. Underneath is always under something. That's when I lose things, that's my motto. It's always under something. go and like I said just keep twirling it on each other and then go ahead if you want to just use your fingers and you can use floral wire for this um, uh, heavier gauge you could I mean you could even use a pipe cleaner if you wanted to it just all depends on what you want the look to be but I just want to be able to have a little spot to, there we go. Okay, so now I'm ready to put that on. And how I thought about this, I thought about drilling a hole in there and I think that'd be really, you know, cool, but then I don't have anything like that. So what I decided to do is 
I'm actually just going to just hot glue it on there. I want to make sure though that um, when it goes on there that it's straight up and down. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to take my hot glue gun, just hold it on there for a few seconds because I don't want it to fall over. Um, and the other thing too I thought of doing, and which I think I will, let's see if I can do this with one hand. I actually am gonna take a little piece of, of gingham that we used in our other project, just a little piece of, of fabric. And I'm just gonna put it on there so that it it also helps the integrity. And then it doesn't look too, you know, too uh, bare in the back there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's do that really quick. Go ahead and put your glue on there. I kinda want them to be similar, so Let's make sure that they they are around and about the same. One, two, three. Let's get another piece piece of fabric here. And I do it when the the glue is is nice and warm, so that you can have a little piece on there. So, here we go. Now, there's one thing I haven't done. I haven't figured out yet how I'm gonna put the stands on. And I thought about taking a piece of wire and making it, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like a swirly and sitting it on a stand um, I may even just uh, lean it up against the um, the backdrop. I have a, a, a middle kind of arrangement that I'm going to be doing. Um, you could, if you wanted to, put it right in the middle of the plate. So I was also thinking of that as well. So let me know in the comments what what your suggestion is. What what would you do if you had this project and you're like, hmm, how am I going to put this on here? I've also seen two where you can take a little piece of wood and just stand it up there. We can do that as well. But I am not sure yet. And I'm okay with that. I, 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 have, I have a little time to think about it. But what would be your suggestion? All right. We'll put that last piece on. Let's make it a little bit shorter. And like I said, if I wanted to, I may um, go back and paint the backs white. Um, I do have to remove that sticky stuff. I do have um, lemon essential oil that I use in, to get that off and then have the, the stickers be, you know, completely okay. All right, let's make sure that looks... All right, so there we go. Now for the finishing touch. I, oops, sorry, that's like... I picked this piece of paper as my background because I love it. It's super sparkly and I want to make sure that it kind of goes a little bit with the theme. So I'm going to cut it in about a um, three by two inch. So three inches wide and two inches long. We'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to take that three and then we'll go ahead and just cut it at two inches let's go this way and we'll see what that that's kind of standard business I think standard business size like a business card is like two and a half by three 
but we'll see. Let's see if that works. Oh, perfect. Isn't that so cool? I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put a little piece in the inside of that so I can write the name. And so I'm going to do two and three quarters by one, one and three quarters. So it just gives a little bit of a peekaboo border around the outside. And this is just cardstock. I just went to my my uh, cardstock bin and got some stuff out. This is just scrap, just scrap stuff. Okay, and so you see how this is like super. We we want to make sure that we we get to do um, the same look, so that it was on purpose. So I'm going to take the the rub and buff. And we're just going to go along the sides. But do you see how sparkly? And then I will take a pen. And depending on who is coming to my Easter festivities, I will put the names on there. But see how you can just put as much as you want, a little in the corners or along the sides. So I'm just doing three for right now just because of the time. But let's see how you can just, you can customize the, the stuff just as is whatever you would like to do. I think I'm going to also put a little bit on the, the card. See how that is? Isn't that beautiful? There we go. I think this would be really, really pretty when you make um, cards that you can just customize them with, with the rub and buff and just put a little bit of sparkle on them. I think that's great. There we go. Let me know. Let me know if this is the project you're like, hmm. It is something that I could do. And um, if you have any questions or if you want the instructions or need a little extra help on it, let me know. I would be glad, glad to help you out. I'm one of those where I do not want to, um, you know, only show you something and then let you flounder and try and find it yourself. So please let me know in the comments. You can um, go to my page, Jane Nicole Designs. And um, I have my VIP group, which is Jane Nicole Designs VIPs, and I post things in there. And you're welcome to, to share your work and to ask questions and be a part of my community of just um, throwing crafting ideas around. And life, it's, it's good. You can do life with me as well. Okay, all I did was use a little bit of tacky glue. This is from Scotch, and it is my go-to glue. I will never be in my craft room without it. Let's see, let's do this way. No, nope, like that way. So there you go. Isn't that going to be fun? I will post pictures um, when I get my tablescape together of all the different projects that we are doing. And you will be able to see the finished tablescape very, very soon. Oh, let's make sure it goes back on there. So let me know in the comments if this is a project that you're like, I'm going out today to go find it. Um, all the supplies, like I said, you can go to... Um, to the dollar store that's where I got the um, eggs you can go um, Michael's uh, Walmart and things like that they have the molds if you want to do that fill it up with your glue gun and um, like I said I use chalk paint and then uh, wax to be able to make the um, the egg looked uh, kind of distressed and old 
and then I used a rub and buff to be able to get that um, beautiful sheen at the end. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I hope that you have a good rest of the week and I will see you again next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Have a super day and you guys all take care. We'll see ya. Bye.